Well, hey everybody, this is Dee and this is Down the Wormhole. And I thought I'd give everybody an update on my tree ops. They've definitely shown up. I haven't opened them. It's actually quite a heavy package. I wasn't too sure what was going to get here. But this is what it looks like. Just add water. They hatch in 24 hours. And yeah, they are quite quick. <laughs> this is what it has on the back. I don't know if you want to have a pause. You can read that if you're interested in seeing what's on there. But yeah, these guys are amazing. <laughs> They are a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed them the last time I had them. Um, they are extremely fast, so it'll be a nice fast project for when we're going. Let's see, now I got to rip the nice package. Oh, this is, they've got it really nice and tape for me. Just to see. Okay, here we go. They are, yeah, a very fast species because they live in puddles out in the wild. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, all sorts of stuff in here to read. <laughs> so, labbed raised tree ops eggs, sand nutrients. Oh, this is kind of different from the last time I did it. Oh, well, that's quite. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> this is interesting. Baby tree ops and adult food directions limestone. Okay, I've never had limestone and a pavet. So, this is. Quite a bit different than last time. I'm gonna have to check up on keep the kids happy warranty. <laughs> well, that's always nice. I definitely have to go through this and see because this is quite a bit different than last time. Okay, here's the limestone I'm getting. This has got to be some sand. Okay, and so I'm. Oh, here's the food. It looks kind of like a bed of pellet food almost. That'll probably be the adult food. And this first one, what I got before when I did this was an actual little container. I don't know if I still have one. But yeah, an actual little container where you could see the eggs in there. And then you'd get almost like a tea bag of uh, almond leaves and stuff like that, like a green mixture, just to kind of help with the food and to get the nutrients and little bugs growing for them to eat. I'm guessing that's this is all mixed together. This is very fine. So let's see what it says on there. Complete starter baby food for tree ops. Yeah, so different, different, different. All sorts of stuff. Not for human consumption. Okay. I love how they have to write those kind of warnings. And a pipette. So we're gonna give this a read and see exactly what we have to do and Go from there, that was much different from the last kit I got to start them. I got them a, how much, I left the six ounce custard cup just to get them started. Uh, yeah, you start them in a really small container just so you can make sure that they get a lot of food. I'll probably raise some baby brine shrimp as well. I have a lot of duckweed in all of my tanks which have a lot of bugs which will be a great bonus from last time. <laughs> I'm a little bit more prepared and well, See what happens. So I hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing and we'll read a bit more on what everything is in here and how to get her going. <laughs> and I'll leave you guys with some video of my shrimp. I've really been enjoying their progress and they were just out showing off really nice for me. In the background is my other little trying to become a dinosaur fish, <laughs> my Amica Splendens. They're definitely a little curious fish. I love how they come over and check out the packaging. <laughs> so enjoy this shrimp and thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see this getting going and yeah, find out exactly what all is in this. <laughs> I'm quite curious if this is just a food for the tree ops or the eggs in here. Where are my eggs? I'm sure there wasn't anything else in there. No. Well, we will read. Oh, there's their little warranty, which is nice. Very, very cool. All right, so enjoy the shrimp, and I will see you guys in the next video.